All right. Y'all liked this game so much last time that we're gonna do another. Uh, let's see, I have 159 gold. Rune selection is tempting, mana regen, knockback, moving speed, EXP gain. I like the princess as an option. There is also the devil. Oh, wasn't there the... Every spell has a rune slot. I think that might actually be the best out of all of them, but it is very expensive. There's the pyro staff, which is your initial spells have plus one link spell when applying burning, which, like, is really good. Uh... And hat-wise, did it... Okay, I do have the crown. We did pick that one up. Yeah, the question is, do we want to do... Initial spells have linked spell on kills, which also is good. I like all of these are great. Movement speed, max health, and damage. I think I'm I think I'm gonna grab the princess, and we're just gonna have to wait on staves because the reduced cooldown should be fine. All right, let's uh, princess our way through. Go aura because that's by and far like the best thing, and we'll make it work. So I was informed that the reason why I was bugging out is the fire and frost. Uh, combo spell is uh, is the source of the bugs that it causes everything to flip out in weird ways. Maybe uh, we'll have to see. Now movement speed split. I heard somebody say splitting aura is actually really good. Yeah, it does. Oh boy. Okay. I don't think bounciness is gonna do me any good. Let's grab fire. There we go. Uh, let's see, grab our next level of aura. We don't have any unkill at the moment, but that's fine. There we go. You hear bags in the background, it's Shell having lunch. Uh, it's snag aura. There we go, I think she's having cereal. So, I massive aura. I don't think you can go. I don't think you can go wrong with this. I am going to probably switch up what uh, what weapons I use next time. Uh, let's see. Do we want to grab linking already? Yeah. Some of the other ones would have actually been pretty good, but maxing out linking so we can get that huge super burn proc. Let's grab lingering. Because split lingering and burn. Isn't the worst? I think the only immediate problem is I'm not entirely sure if the burn... Well, actually, no, 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 no. We used lingering to get semi-permanent. And then we get another set of aura. So now on kill, we get more aura. Unfortunately, it won't beget more of itself. But I think it'll be fine. Okay. There we go. Mana cost, bounciness, movement speed, or summon. Let's just go for the movement speed at the time being. Not that I'm, like, in dire need of it. Okay. And yeah, I'm mostly just gonna let these guys kind of come at me. We don't really need more size, in retrospect. Uh, too big and we actually don't get the EXP as much. So the the base level of aura is kind of worth it. Okay, let's grab Lingering. Oh, here's a question. If I put the burning on the aura, on the secondary aura... Oh no, it's on setting enemies on, on fire. Like, when the attack sets en enemies on fire. I was thinking of, like... Enemies burning to death would also trigger it. But no, that's not how it works. The only immediate problem is we're going to be fighting uh, the Stank Man. At the next level of linking? Yeah. And I'm not entirely sure how that's going to work out for me. I guess we'll find out. Oh, did I? Shit. I think I just watched myself get shot there. Unfortunately, with some of these games, I especially if I'm, like, super safe, ranged attacks just don't register for me. Like, I know they're there. I know it's a thing that I kind of have to be concerned about. 
but it's just like a total nothing. Okay, duration, mana regen, cooldown time, or pain. I guess I should probably be upgrading some of these, shouldn't I? I'm not actually sure if I like the double aura. It's, even if it's really good. Okay. Yeah, I think my problem is I'm not going to be able to hit him without a range up. Hence why I was thinking of ghosts or some other things. Aura turns like super red. Okay, well, I can hit him. If I'm just a little bit ahead of him, he can't hit me. And I, if I can set him on fire, that cooks him way more. There we go. Okay, then we got some spiders. We do have ghosts, EXP gain, pierce, bolts. Or ghost. Let's just go for the EXP gain. I'd like to get to this chest. Okay, cool. Trail of fire, trail of ice, visible ev enemy every two minutes. Honestly, remnants of the destroyer. Okay. Next level of aura. Upgrade. Okay, focused aura, lingering aura. Or massive aura. Second massive aura. Okay. So we've got a couple of links. Yeah. Upgrade these. So two linked spell on kill. Link skill on uh linked spell on kill, burning, and freezing. I think I want to do havoc. Cause that lets me keep this, but then potentially also do burning. Though I think we want to do burning for the time being. But we might we might want to get some like ghosts. Next. Uh, let's see. We also have Blast and we have Bolt. Uh, let's, get a, let's get Blast for the time being. I don't know necessarily if it's better, but it's at least extra AoE on top of it all. Okay, find the second sigil. Right, I should probably actually start booking for this. Aura, Freezing, Bolt. I'll grab freezing. Oh, let me put another spell on. Actually, in retrospect, let's grab the bomb. Okay. Just head for the second sigil. This should be pretty easy. Because yeah, anything that gets frozen gets blasted. And anything that gets burned triggers another aura on top of the aura I've already got. And I think I want to get the semi-permanence if I can. Because that might let us, um... That might let us just have perpetual hyper aura, which would be absurd. Uh, let's grab the next level of fire rune. Because I think we want to just make my base rune do, like, next to no damage. But set shit on fire really hard. Uh, let's see, freezing or EXP. I'm actually gonna go for the EXP. Freezing, freezing would be nice, but the faster I level, the more of this nonsense garbage we can dive into. Link, mana regen, enlargement. The only problem is the enlarged versions uh, don't don't have trigger. 
But I don't think it, that's that big of a deal. Okay, Gnome King. Wait, here's the thing. I'm fast, most things can't catch me. He's not really that effective. Okay. Conditions last on enemies last twice as long. There we go. Killing every enemy on screen is okay. I don't think I care for that one too much. Okay, head for the third sigil? Probably. I think I'd still like to level up some. There we go. Let's just get close. Grab the last of the EXPs. Upgrade. So, 30% EXP gain, linked on kill, EXP and rune options. I like the rune options. Because leveling is pointless if we're not actually getting something cool to mix with it. And so I'd, I think I'd rather just be able to pick exactly what I want rather than something I'm not super interested in over and over and over again. I'm not actually sure if that's like really the better option, but I don't know. Oh, this is an incredibly mana efficient build. But I guess all I'm doing is just uh, super stank cloud garlic wombo combo and nothing more. I do really hope this game gets some more spells at some point. Like, unfortunately, I don't really see myself doing more than, like, maybe five or six runs of this game uh, before I get, like, well, not bored, but before I run out of, like, cool potential options. On the flip side, maybe that's fine. Like, sometimes it's okay to actually have, um, sometimes it's totally okay to actually put out less, or less content on a game. Let's grab splitting. We can't do anything with it at the moment, but we will be able to. Um, like, it's a three-buck game. Who cares if I only get a couple playthroughs out of it? I think about that sometimes. You know, Short Hike is literally one of the shorter games I've ever finished. And I don't feel bad about it. I actually thought it was pretty satisfying. And, like, did I pay 10, 15 bucks for that one? It was, it was some amount. And I was just kind of like, eh, whatever. Okay. Mana regen, let's just grab enlargement for the time being. I'll put it on, I guess in retrospect, I might as well just stack things on, on the bombs so the bombs are more effective too. Yeah, in retrospect, I don't think I like the kill all on screen option. Because all that EXP is, I don't want to say null and void, but I don't want to have to go back for it. All right, emotion bot. Time to get absolutely crushed. Enjoy burning. That is... Oof. So we do not want Torture Frozen Fire. Yeah, now let's grab the Living Scythe. Oh, it's a little bigger than I thought it was going to be. I don't know if it's really that good, but still. Uh, let's see. Oh, this is tough. I'm gonna grab fire. Because all of those are great. However... Go for Inferno. Now, every time my one aura hits, it triggers the other one. Which means... Goofy amounts of aura. Let's see. Reduce cooldown time. Could go ghost. Damage and knockback. I don't really, I don't really care for most of these. I could try the cooldown time and try and put it on massive aura once it's been upgraded. But I don't actually know if that does anything. I guess I'll grab Toughness. There might be an interesting upgrade for Toughness, and this way I'm not just sitting at 2 HP. Okay, find the final sig sigil. It's up here. 
Okay, next up we want to grab Lingering. That way we can finally upgrade this boyo. Duration, here we go. Reduce cooldown time, and then I'm going to add splitting to it. Okay, so now I have... Oh! Oh, the semi-permanent ones... Remain... Oh, they remain behind. That's interesting. Let's grab our next blast rune. It's going to make uh, getting some of this EXP a little harder, but maybe at this point it's okay. I can just win handily regardless. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go find the final sig sigil. It looks like only some of the auras get stuck behind me. So I'm actually kind of curious about the why of it. So I'll put that there. There we go. The final sigil. I'm curious if we kill the boss, what happens? Does it just end the run prematurely? If so, I think that's actually kind of cool. I... this is unfair. Because <laughs> yeah, it's effectively proc on, on hit, but even more stupid. Okay, let's, let's get the splitting runes and see what this gets me. Four split, extra spread. Hi! Everything burns. Oh, and that also happens. So, unless I'm mistaken, my, my base aura does nothing. It actually seems to do negative one damage, which is really amusing. Uh, but it's just got like crazy stacks of it. Uh, let's see. We need size. We could use another split, honestly. Or we could go freezing. So I'm gonna go freezing. But yeah, effectively, I'm just generating massive numbers of auras that don't do any damage, but set enemies on fire and trigger my my murder aura instead. Which does surprisingly little damage itself, but it's just the sheer quantity of them more or less overrules everything. Hello, bo oh boy. Okay, so at first I was not taking him seriously. And then I apparently should have been. Well, we made it to the end. And we get some gold. Sick. That was <laughs> very easy. Uh, which is perfectly fine. So what do we want to do? Initial spells have linked spell when applying burning. Split, max health. Extra damage to enemies close to you. Reduce movement speed. Reduce cooldown. Oh, that's interesting. I... I feel like I have to try it. Go so princess with a cane and a crown, and let's try something different. What is... well... I'm gonna do ghosts. Okay, so we're we're definitely gonna have to reduce the uh, the mana cost on these and up my mana regen, which should be fine. Go for splitting. Summoning two ghosts at a time still seems like it's worth it. Yeah, so I can effectively just panic fart ghosts. Which is not something... that is not a sentence I have ever, ever said. Before in my life. But I mean... There's always a first time for everything. Alright, let's grab Linking. 
because we're going to need that. I think we might just want to do massive recursive ghosts. Oh, let's see. Damage, next level of linkage. Let's go for the next level of linkage. I could do more than this, but I think this is better for the time being. Cripes. Aura is just like a thousand times better. Well, okay. So now we now we have some recursive ghosting, which no. And we also need pierce. Or bounce. Both would be good. But I'm going to grab the next level of linkage instead. So this time around, we're not going to mess with elemental upgrades. Instead, we're going to get... Uh, Link's spell on kill. We're just going to do Cascade de Ghost Death. Oh, that's what it does. That's actually way less cool. I was hoping it would just do two instances of the same ghost spell. Hmm. This might not work that well, but that's fine. Swift summon, large summon, persistent summon. Okay, that gives it some natural pierce. Makes it a lot better. Unfortunately, they push the goblins around and don't do that much damage. I think we're dead. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, so I don't I don't think you can do ghost. Blast would be interesting. Maybe bolt. I just don't want to do aura again. Uh let's try blast. Okay, blast goes where my cursor is. It's got a really short cooldown. Okay. Let's do linking again. And we're not going to do the link on kill. Upgrade. I. The question is, is it even worth... Hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's go for the mana regen. I don't know if uh, duration even matters on blast. Okay. Grab the free ghosts. Yeah, part of the reason why I want extra spells is so I'm not just com continuously compelled to just roll uh, ghosts for, for forever. And fortunately, to some degree, it's better for me to aim close by. Okay, keep stacking the mana regen. We want to get to the point... Ah. We want to get to the point where I can just, um... Blast repeatedly. Okay. Without having to wait too much. Okay, well, third level of blast. Let's see, see what that nets me, because I have yet to mess with this weapon at all. The focus blast, lingering blast as a duration or massive blast. Three size knockback, less damage though. I'm gonna try it anyway. It's like a focused aura, yeah? I think that might be kind of fine. Let's see. And yeah, we might want to get the linked burning. We'll see. We get bounciness. Let's go EXP gain. Okay, we should probably head for our first sigil at this point. We've got kind of the power. It's not quite there yet. But at least it's something. Uh, let's see. Bonus damage, bonus pierce. I probably should have gone for the ghost upgrade instead, in retrospect. That pierce upgrade has a little bit more of like an immediate dividend that it pays out. Yeah, we're probably going to want to drastically increase the damage of my 
my blast rune at some point. Okay. Oop. Oop. Oh, I do not have enough HP for that. Unfortunately, with the ghost spam, it's kind of hard to tell where my enemies are in it sometimes. Yeah, Aura makes it easy because you just kind of let it go. Okay, I gotta grab toughness, otherwise they die. I guess my pickup radius is absolutely massive. Not perfect. I think I'd still actually be very much in favor of uh, you just not having to pick up EXP at all? Maybe? I'm just gonna keep grabbing toughness. Okay, interesting benefit to blast. Wait, am I not doing damage to these guys? Nope, okay, we do some damage. They just have a shit ton of HP. Okay, let's, let's just head for the first guardian. Make some EXP real quick. Let the ghost army deploy. Okay, and there's Stankus. I honestly thought I had named my my save file Stankus when I first loaded this game up. That is such a me thing to do. And so for this game to have a character named Stankus is just like, uh. I feel seen in a way that I was not expecting to be. Let's see, mana regen. Upgrade, 60% mana regen movement, mana regen and EXP gain. That's tough, but we need the mana regen more than anything else. And we do have another toughness I should probably equip. Not that I'm really planning on taking a whole lot of damage here, but you never know. Okay. Unfortunately, I think the spiders are going to kill me. I just don't have a good way of stopping them. My ghosts are funny, and they cascade very well. Let's see. What if I actually did this? Okay, I think that's better. Uh, projectile focus will shoot a mirror copy in the opposite direction. Let's grab the living scythe for the time being instead, and... Extra EXP gain, get me a little closer. Ow, shoot. Well, splitting. Okay, so we get damage to split, reduce damage and knockback, but 10 split and 20 spread. Or 4 split, 15 spread. Overwhelming split... It's gotta be overwhelming split. I'm gonna try putting it on my blast. Oh my god, what happened? Uh, uh, okay. That's not what I was expecting uh, I would get in the slightest, but maybe I sh I'm not going to complain. Regen HP every 120 seconds? Let's see if this kills me. Okay, no, I'm back, back down to 1 HP, but I now have actually a really busted spell in its own right. Do I want more mana regen? Tempting. Freezing. Can't do blast. I'm just gonna slap freezing on top of this. We might just max it out, give it the proc on freeze, and move the ghost over to that. We 
definitely need more splitting. Okay, I'm gonna just let my... I'm gonna let the enemies get a little closer to each other. And I'm gonna let my juice kind of refill. I guess it's refilled at this point, but... Either way. It's, uh... Not the build I was expecting, but I ain't complaining. Okay, more split. More splitting. The damage would be nice, but I want to I want to split some more ghosts. I want it to just get really upsettingly obscene the moment I lay down a blast. There we go. And I should probably head for that sigil. Okay, we have enlargement, more mana regen. Blaster bolt. Mm. Let's just go with mana regen. Stack more of that. Yeah. I think we've actually kind of hit the threshold where I can just blast nigh constantly and not run out of juice. Now let's head for the sigil, let them stack up. If if things get a little hairy again, then we start blasting again. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't do it. I was thinking, uh, whenever I'm doing these videos, I'm trying to think of like things I do uh, to put in the thumbnail. And I, it's like actually legitimately tempting to just do like a caricature of Danny DeVito and just uh, title the episode. So anyway, I started blasting. I don't think I'm going to do it. I don't think it would be good SEO, but it would be really funny. <laughs> anyway, welcome to the ghost uh, blast zone. Go ghost bomb? I don't know. Ghost bomb sounds like, uh, like a weird dark version of the spirit bomb from DBZ. Uh, do we want more split or do we want to grab the EXP scroll? Let's grab that first. EXP gain, link spell on hit, or EXP gain in rune options. Underrated. I just want to get more split so I can get the uh, reduced damage but hella ghost upgrade. Uh, let's see, and then we should. We should probably get the uh, linked spell trigger as well. Because, yeah, what if every time I froze an enemy, it would summon 10 ghosts in some ridiculous split level? Okay, am I going to actually... Good. These golems are a little tough. Oh, we never actually upgraded the ghosts, did we? Let's snag that. I don't know what large ghosts do. I don't really know if that's much of a thing. I'll probably just give them go for the pierce one. Only immediate issue is... Well, no. We're fine. As long as I've got frost... If they start getting close to me, I just unleash. Okay. So next level of ghost. Yeah, because that would max out that max out ghost. Cause yeah. Size just gives me a bigger knockback, no extra damage. But persistent means they have a ton of pierce, which effectively triples their damage. It ain't perfect. It ain't anywhere close. There's a good way of dealing with these guys. Okay. And yeah, I've got to be kind of wily here. Ghost EXP. Size, cooldown. Mmm. Kind of sucks. 
guess I'll grab another EXP gain. How's my HP? Hey, I'm back up to full. Worried about that for a second. There, freezing. Upgrade. So, freezing and knockback. Okay, Link's spell when applying freezing, chance to apply freezing. Perfect. We're gonna move this down just because we don't kill quite as much, but we freeze quite a lot. And this gives us really consistent ghosts. Okay, next up, do linking. Holy shit, ghosts. I'm gonna I'm gonna delay the win. I think we could win easily at this point, but we might want to stack some movement speed. Hey, what's going on? Have a Let's see, anything else? Damage, knockback? Nah, let's just go pain. Because we could also we could make it so the ghosts get the damage bonuses as opposed to my aura, because my aura no longer needs to kill. My aura, or my aura, my blast is literally just here to spawn ghosts. It's not quite as efficient as my other setup, but it's damn good all the same. Upgrade. Extra damage, cooldown time, spell speed, damage, or just 100% damage. Technically, I want both of these. I want reliable damage. Okay, and some more, more mana regen would also be really good. I, there is also the spell cost reduction. But I'm not as reliably able to use that. Oh, track down the second guardian. Oh, shit. Uh... I guess I should probably... I guess I should probably do that. Okay. Let's grab Havoc. So now we can get a second freeze proc if we want it. I don't necessarily know if we do. Okay, so yeah, I, I've got a boogie. We've got to get our objectives. Luckily, I'm so busted strong that it doesn't really matter too much. The problem is I'm going to keep going for the EXP instead because I'm an absolute gremlin. And when I'm given shinies, I have to go for it. Okay, where's the Gnome King? There's the Gnome King. Die, Gnome King! Enjoy my ghosts! Okay, let's grab Mirror Shard. I don't know if it creates more ghosts, but we can link the Bolt spell next. I think that might have actually doubled the amount of ghosts that I output, which is not what I was expecting. Uh, let's see. Damage, knockback, shield, actually maybe movement speed? Maybe movement speed, I'm gonna put it there. I'm assuming that works. Okay. And now the immediate problem with this build is that at this point, it's kind of impossible for me to pick up all of the EXP left behind. I kind of love to be able to do so, but yeah, it, it just ain't happening. At this point, levels are going to be uh, convenient rather than actually consistent. I'll let them stack up for a bit. I have like a shit ton of ghosts just kind of milling around just doing horrors. There you go. I don't, I don't really need to try as much as I used to. Honestly, it's kind of tempting to just stack yet more ghosts. Okay, find the third guardian. Can do. Uh, we want to play Destiny again. Playing it for a while. Finished up the last season and they got like way too busy. 
I gotta go back and actually put some time into the current season, but just eh. Uh, let's see, next level, next level of Pierce, yeah. Because if we can get three Pierce, we can see what the upgrades for Pierce are. What an absolutely skunky run. Die, Emotion Bot. I thought the last run turned Emotion Bot into a joke. I was wrong. Uh, let's grab the Necromancer's hands. Not that it really matters. Okay. Wow, there's actually a lot of these guys now. I got, my ghosts are killing him, but not as fast as I would have liked. Uh, let's see. Well, I guess I'm going to throw Burning on, just for some extra damage. I think this is very easy for me to set things the heck on fire. Eat him. Well, I mean, it's working. Freaking welcome to the ghost zone. Let's just let's just go get the final sigil. We might not trigger the the boss anytime soon. Just because I do kind of enjoy drawing this out a little bit. Ugh. Yeah, there's a certain point where it gets kind of chill for a little while while my ghosts hit critical mass and just finish everything else off. But then after a certain point I have to like go back and actually care again. It's weird. Uh, let's see. Do another split. I don't know if splitting is better than piercing. I think it is. Oh, please give me another split rune before we're done. I deserve it. Right? Wow, they're just lighting up like uh, Christmas lights. It's kind of beautiful, actually. Okay, so we have to track down the final guardian. I mean the R. Or ghosts. Uh, let's see, there it is. Splitting. Okay, so. I mean... Ghosts! Ghosts! Who cares if they do less damage? I have so many ghosts! Oh boy, if I kill the game, I'm going to be so happy. Damn. I always have to try. You know, can I destroy a game seven ways till Tuesday? And the answer is, sometimes. Okay, where's the boss? There's the boss. Okay, so I just have to make sure he doesn't uh, charge into me and he's dead. <laughs> oh man, that was real fun. Alright, I think that's going to be it for me for Runic for at least a little while. I really enjoyed getting that ghost proc thing to work the way I wanted it to. Uh, it was pretty nonsense and a lot of fun. But for now, at least, yeah, leave it on the back burner, wait until they add some more spells and maybe some other things. Or maybe I just get the itch to play again in like a week or two. I don't know, but I hope you enjoyed this all the same. So, I guess with that, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.